Oh boys, the fog is rolling in. Hi Sonic, it's Ruby and Mummy and Daddy. We want to know if you are in this cave. We won't tell Dr. Eggman and we'll keep your entrance safe and hidden for you. Stay safe, safe. we love you. And this is just fallen off the ceiling. Look at that. Oh, this is it. I didn't even see it. This is, the, this is the eye of the earth. This is the dragon's eye. The hole of the giants. I finally made it. Right, got my bag, got my tripod. Uh, need to make sure I've got my wallet. We've got smoke bombs, so some photos down there. Um, right now we're heading down to one of the places I've been looking to go into for so long. Four years I've been looking for this place. Finally, I know where it is. You already know, wrapping the merch. Check, check out the beanies, ewfofficial.com. Let's go, Flex. Let's go. Oh, boys, the fog is rolling in. We're meant to be looking out for a right hand turning. We're looking out for a right hand turning. Well, oh, by the way, Carl's here. Yeah. We've got boy Carl, Dark Horse TV. We've got Flex. You already know Flex. Uh, and we're heading underground one of the craziest underground videos probably yet like i said been looking for this place for four years you'll see you'll know why when you see it right we found the turning so down here it's quite creepy with the fog oh, it, just adds to the <laughs> it does it's one of those like you know come to these places in the most horrific weather <laughs> the most mysterious weather so as i always say if anything happens, it's been good knowing you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you already know, every man for themselves. But whatever it takes. Big pond like thing on the right. Yeah. Keep following, that, keep following it round till you find a cliff on your left. Okay. And you've, you've got to walk along that, like, the top of that cliff so there's a big drop on your left, like a massive drop on your left. What, and you managed to do that? Yeah, you just got to walk. You, can, you don't have to walk that close to the edge. But All you right. Walk you come up across through there through the trees yeah and then you come up to like it's an old wall with a gap in it you've got to climb over that wall and then you've got to look for a shed a shed there's a, there's a shed that's uh, like buried in leaves and stuff and then there's a like like fucking i think like i think it's like a, a bulkhead and a steering wheel of a fucking old golf or something like that all right okay and near that Right, once okay. You, once, once you get there, if you find that shed, it's buried in all the trees and everything, though. It's, it's actually someone's back garden. Oh, right, okay. It's like, <laughs> it's like an, old, an old school shed, and there's a Bucky, you could have told me there was someone's. So. Bucky, you could have told me we were going in someone's back garden. Well, it's, it is and it isn't. You don't really. It's, 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 they've never used it for years. It's like proper overgrown to so right, okay. go into it. Well, yeah, you've got to follow it, and on your uh, when you follow it to the left, there where you are now. If you get up to the top, there should be a big, like an old, like stone cliff quarry thing with water in it on the right. Yeah. And then, and then keep following that round to the, like following it past it, and then you'll find your cliff on your on your left hand side. There's a massive fucking drop on left, and just follow that round so you get to a. There's like an old school. Do you know the old school walls? Yeah, yeah, the uh, the stub walls. Yeah, yeah, you, there's, a, there's like a gap in it with a bit of barbed wire, I think it is, and you just climb over that and then follow that down till you find the shed. Did you hear that noise, though? What? Like somebody being dragged down there. Someone being dragged down there? I didn't, I didn't hear that. <laughs> <clears throat> right boys i think we're on the right path we've, we've come up this bit here and we've got to go up into the woods um we've got to follow it around keep your eye out because there is a, a really large drop uh we've got to walk around it eventually find a gap in a fence we've got to go down there and find a shed in a field with apparently an old mark one or two don't, golf don't, don't steering it. wheel don't and bulkhead <clears throat> yeah, well, let's go and find it. Apparently, someone's back garden as well, so watch out for shotguns. Oh, and he, he didn't see, he didn't find the uh, eye of the earth either. Ah. So, what we're looking for right now inside this mine, it, it goes by a couple of names. A lot of people uh, know it as the eye of the earth, and then some people know it as the dragon's eye. And it's basically the ceiling inside this mine looks like a giant eyeball. I'm not even joking you. It, it, it looks insane. 
We gotta go and find it, guys. The gate that we just came into, a car just pulled it and stopped there, so we're just gonna hang fire in the dark here a minute and just see if they drive off or if they're looking for us, because it was a, I think it was a, I think it was a public lane, but it was very, it was very narrow. Yeah, it's real weird, because we're not coming up. What's that over there? There's a top, no, there. There's a torch over there. I was wondering what the f that sound was in there. It was the rain, wasn't it? No, there's a torch up there. Yeah, yeah that's what we, me and Flex seen a minute, didn't we? Yeah, there's somebody up there. We need to go out there. There's a, there was a torch up there then. It's pretty, it's pretty damn creepy in here, bro. <laughs> that scared me, that, you know. I know it does. Oh my god. It was, a, was the, it, it was the sound of the, it was the sound of the, uh, the leaves and the rain just all. God, that is fucking creepy. Are we just freaking ourselves out? I don't know. I think so. We can either, should we just get on with it? Yeah. yeah. I'll scare him off. Go, 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 go. I'm guessing they probably ran now. I'm f I don't know why I'm freaking out. It's people. What? It's people there. Where? Where? Right in front of the cinema. There's people right there because did you hear that? No way there's people there. Did you hear that? Like hissing? Where? People Down there. Just there no way. Did you not That's fucking hear that? No, let's go and have a look. Whoa, watch out, there's a hole there. There's no people here, bro. I heard someone like that. What? Bro, there's no one here. I'm not, I'm not joking, there's three people here. Man. No, I'm not joking, there's three people, mate. I'm, I swear, I don't like this. I swear down, there's three people <laughs> I don't, walking, I don't mate. Like I'm not this. joking. There was three people right there, mate. Where's it gone? Yeah, this is a public footpath. Well, there is a public footpath there. Yeah. Why is it every time I come out with Carl? I'll say this every time. Every time I come out with Carl, I end up in wo creepy ass woods. There's no one there. Was, I swear down on my life right now, there's three people right here, right? No joking. I've seen heads, mate. One, one guy was like on the ball there, I'm not joking. It was like a pathway, isn't it? It's a bit weird, isn't it? Walking around. Well, they probably saw us and thought, what the hell's out over there? Because we didn't have lights on the perfect year. Why the hell they didn't up here, didn't it? Going, Why the hell they got the lights on? Right, let's, let's try and find our way. Oh, God. reminds me of right now. Blue Witch. Oh! Is that a light down there? What? Shut straight ahead, there's a light down there. Oh, God, yeah. Why is it not doing anything, though? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know like, like, do you know what makes it worse? Because when you see a light, I'm normally like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you're over there, but like, when that light doesn't do anything. Right, I'm pretty sure it's this way. So I just got off the phone with Bucky and he said you just got to keep walking until we see a stone wall. I could be walking into the middle of nowhere. Oh wait, the stone wall! <laughs> I, I found it! Here we go, this is stone wall. Barbed wire, stone wall. Um, now we, I think we've got to keep walking along it. He said there should be a gap. Um, don't know if he means this. Maybe this is it. This is definitely the stone wall. We're in the right track. Right, just got off the phone with Bucky. This is where we're going, this is the way. Right, you ready boys? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Flex is repping the, the, uh, the hashtag Team Fighters sticker. You already know, it's on the hat now. Got to do it, yeah. Right, let's, uh, let's just don't slip, because if you slip, you're gonna cut, you your, you're gonna cut your balls. <laughs> 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 you're not gonna, it's not gonna end well. Right. I, I might even go under it. <laughs> I'm gonna have a look first. Oh, it's not too bad. It's just that that wall's going to be slippy, bro, because of all the moss. Right. I'm, I think I'm a little bit better dressed than Flex. He's got <laughs> these shoes, he's got fox socks on. Yeah. And tracky bottoms. Yeah, literally. <laughs>
Jim King trophy. He looks like he's <laughs> he's looking like he's heading out on the town on the town. Right, we found it. It's brick. It's not really a shed. It's a brick. Like a garage. Yeah. I smell burning so. Oh, it's right. He said uh, to you'll see. He said next to it, you'll see the drop. We've just spent the good part of an hour trying these tunnels, but apparently it's not the right ones. We've been stuck in some of the most dangerous little caverns that I've ever been in. It wasn't good, but we think it's down that way. Let's go. It feels weird being sat in your car. It's like a shrunken down version of mine. <laughs> is it Eggman? It's the same. It's, the, it's a Q5, bro. <laughs> should, the a, should the back end's a bit smaller, yeah, isn't it? The boot is, yeah, but the inside feels drastically smaller, I'm not going to lie. Slow down. 10 mile an hour. Where the fuck is he hey! from? Slow down. It's cunty again. It's hey. so close. Fucking gate there as well. Yeah, of course they just stole it. So basically, we've got a crazy security guard speeding around trying to run people over, and we've got uh, people stealing mopeds driving around in masks. Good start to the day, Carl. Yeah, bro, I, you know what? I'm not having my car broken into, I'm not having it stolen, I'm not having nothing happening. I just want to get to some nice civilization and just do a nice explore <laughs> and speak to some ghosts. Ghosts? Okay, okay. That's all, that's all I want, bro. That's all I want right now. We need to get going, bro. We need to, to get going. Right, it's been a long time coming. So we've been to this location a few times, as you've already seen on the footage. Um, we've had to come back again. Circumstances meant we couldn't get inside. But, I heard a rumour, it's now open, and we're heading in. Right, let's keep it down. <laughs> Not a good start. Watch out for I got the helmet here first. I thought you had one. Keep him through. Come here, Dan. Come here, lad. Do you want your camera through? Is it filming? Yep. <laughs> That's just got my face bewildered. Nice and slow, I got you. That's one. Okay. There's your camera. <laughs> you just go down there. Weapons on the left. You can go on the right. Yeah. Sweet, nice one. Okay, we're inside. Um, don't worry too much about the number of us, there's quite a few of us, but we are going to split up. I want you right now, Carly should really sit down for this one, shouldn't they? Because this is a world exclusive here on Team Fighters. You'll never guess what Dan has on his head. <laughs> I have a helmet on. Right, I've, the prayers have been answered. I'm wearing a helmet for the first time. Um, I feel like an idiot. Yes. Am I safe? Yes, probably. But not if a ten-ton piece of rock falls off. The hell, it ain't gonna save you. Are you sure anyway. you're not hiding your lack of um, lack of sort of uh, Mohican oh, or something? Shit. Are you hiding? Have you got your Mohican under there? No, I've not. 
No, I've, I've dyed it red though. Oh right, yeah, he's, he's hiding something, folks. I don't no, believe this. I won't believe this, like you know, subterfuge that's going on here. I mean, I've just took my snap back off. <laughs> Give me a break. Right, let's head into the uh, pretty much the depths of hell. I, I'm going to tell you the legends and the stories about this place very soon, but this is the place I've been wanting to get in for so so long. It's pretty slippery. Yeah. But I bought some new boots. I'm all kitted out, guys. <laughs> Look at these hanging girders going across. <laughs> Supporting all this rock. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Wait a minute. Who it's, no way, is Charles climbing up that? Where's your torch? Get your torch on. Turn it on, I can't see you. Uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't climb up that, you know. Yeah, that's holding the ceiling up. <laughs> no. no, please don't die. I don't want to have to explain to your mum why you're dead. Yeah, please don't collapse to mine. Stay safe. We love you. That's some kid note. What? That's a note from a kid. Say more. Like is mummy daddy in here? Read it out to read it out to us. It says here, hi Sonic, it's Ruby and Mummy and Daddy. We want to know if you are in this cave. We won't tell Dr. Eggman and we'll keep your entrance safe and hidden for you. Stay sa safe, we love you. It's really weird. They're talking in code, but they're talking like there is a uh, somebody named <laughs> code named Sonic lost in this cave and mommy and daddy and ruby are looking for him okay so this is a good time to tell you Dark the legend. local legends of this place yeah let's okay. discuss the local legend so okay so, so from, from what i know uh back many years ago two two children came missing they came here got missing in the mine yeah quiet down so two two kids got lost in this mine now i don't know how long the the, the history on this is very blurry so how long it was, Carl? Do you know how long it was? They were lost for. Is it two days? Bro, I think I, I think they went missing for like two, three days. Only one one got out and survived, and the other two went missing. So, what he claimed was goblins dragged him down here. Right, this is what they said. Goblins dropped him down here. Now it was the military that actually found him. The military came down here to find him. Uh, rescue service came down, couldn't find anyone. For some reason the military is down here. End up finding the children. Yeah, and they said it was goblins that took them under here, and they couldn't find the other one. So. That's one legend of this place. The other legend is a room that we will see on this tour, and it's called the, the, the Eye of the Dragon, uh, also known as the Eye of the Earth. Now, this is another local legend that this inside here lies uh, an eye shape, an eye shape in the, in the slate, right? But I'm talking a mammoth scale. This thing is about 100 foot by 100 foot, and it's a massive eyeball staring at you and they call it the eye of the earth, basically being watched when you're down here. Uh, local legend, like I said, but it's a cool story, and it's a legit place, and we're gonna go on and see it on this trip, and I can't wait. You it's been a dream. You gotta admit, that note though, from a kid, saying that there's a kid lost in here. Well, that's something you know, I can't how, explain. How, how crazy is that? You know, we've never been here before. We talk about the legends, and then there's just a note just, just running with it. Yeah, written in crayon from a kid. Well. It's, it's been here for quite some time though, because the, the paper's literally just like, so, uh, I've never seen that before, so... So, Dan, Dan, was it 45 per head, wasn't it? Uh, no, no, now 60 pound, if we run over 6 hours, 75 pound an hour. Alright mate, but how much for four? Uh, four, I can do you a discount, 50 pound each, 200 pounds. Oh, cheers, Call it square. Oh, yeah, man. thank you. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> When you said two, I was like, oh, he's got to get, he's going to get it now. By the way, for those who don't know how to take a joke, this isn't an episode. <laughs> that's a, that's a I just want to say that, it's just a bit of banter. That bit, man. Just yeah, that some, bit. No, some people are like, how dare him charge them people money to go in there. <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> and basically, your and Carl missions 
is to find out what happened to the missing child. We are going to explore this uh, Lord of the Rings style cave because it literally is like Lord of the Rings, like we're stepping into Mordor right now. What if this turns into an exploring with Josh bit and there actually is a kid in here and we find him? Um, uh, Do we call him Sonic? Prepare to deal with a lot of press. So when I'm ex you down there, it gets really dangerous, so... Now, I'm expecting a good explore, and uh, no one injured, because um, Matthew is wearing his lucky orange camo pants, so... <laughs> what could go wrong when I'm wearing these? Well, nothing ever goes wrong. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I thought you'd like this, but look at the, the colour up there, mate. Yeah. It's stunning, all them red challenges. That's over, cool. Right? A lot of iron coming through. Alright, well, down we go. So this is where it gets dangerous. Well, you see that bit of stone there? That's collapsed off the ceiling at the bottom. Well, yeah, I see that. Need to get some new, uh, yeah. That's a cool place. Oh, these stacks, they just look like some out of Lord of the Rings, kind of like the Dragon's Lair. So crazy. And this is just falling off the ceiling. Look at that. That huge bit that is now basically a bridge and underneath walkway is part of the ceiling, so... It is cool. Never seen this kind of uh, support before. Normally it's just <laughs> bits of wood and logs that are holding it up. Look at this. This is, I'm walking underneath the fallen ceiling. It's crazy. I'm seeing some collapses further down. The problem is, this is why I don't normally wear a helmet, is because if one of these fall, no matter if you're wearing a body armour, you know, it's not going to save you. But, I suppose small little stones falling might not give me a, an egg on the head. Yeah, I see that. So this is where support was, uh, obviously supporting the roof, but it's it's fallen down. There was a collapse here. And it's balancing on there. And yeah, I wouldn't do that here. Look at that, it's balancing on there. What? All that balancing on top. Uh, yeah, that's bad. But did it make a noise? Have fun. Uh, right, let's be very careful here. Yeah. That scares the hell out of me. Just keep an eye on it for me. Yeah. Well, that's not terrifying. Yeah, that's not fun. Gotta tell you, that massive bit up there is not fun to walk underneath. Honestly, would you would you do that? Would you walk underneath that like we just did? Or am I just becoming too conditioned to this that I don't realise how bad and dangerous it is? Leave me a comment below, let me know. Very curious to see what you guys think. So here's some, uh, I'm going to call them pedestals, support pedestals that have fallen down. 
they go off that direction, they go off the other direction as well, but we're kind of taking this main route down because I think that's where the, uh, the spot we're looking for is, which is the Eye of the Dragon. Well, I think we're stepping into the Hall of Giants now. The ceiling is becoming extraordinary to look at. There's a lot more support. We've got this one here, stone support. Wow, what an amazing place. You see now we are, I'm using a panel light now. The panel light looks great, of course, but look, when I look at some over there, it's very hard to see. That's why I normally use a, a torch, a spotlight, um, just for a bit of a distance shot. Wow, this is, I, no wonder they call it the Hole of the Giants. This is amazing. <laughs> it looks, honestly, I, I can't describe it. It's, it. it's like a Skyrim, Dragon Age, Lord of the Rings, Hobbit, everything rolled into one. All my fun adventure kind of films. But I see. Yeah, I see that. I really that just, everything it was holding up has fallen apart from the actual position it was placed. Crazy, but this is amazing. Do you know what I keep hearing that weird noise? Like a... Uh, huh, did you? Yeah. I thought it was a bat, but... Oh no, sorry, it's my helmet. <laughs> it's every time I turn, look. I keep hearing it, it's on my hood. It's like... I was like, what that noise? Sorry guys, it's just my helmet. So, our option here would be to climb up and climb up the wall. Watch out, Slippy. It's very slippy. Oh. Where are we going? Yeah. I'm going. All right, the guys are they're coming, so we'll we'll start walking up this way. I'll check out this bit first. I think this bit is just a, an out cove. A dead end. Yeah, it's a dead end of this bit. If I do miss any markings on the walls, uh, leave me a comment down below. I'm trying to look out for like old miners markings, you know, like they used to do with the gas lanterns. Um, this looks like a, a terrible collapse here and there's water which is not a good sign oh but look you can see the indentations from the old sleepers and the rails yeah I don't know about this one Well, there's a collapsed mine and there's this. Oh yeah, that's not happening. I'm wondering if we can get up that way. Watch for falling stones. Oh. 
factory. There's a bit of a fall. Oh my. You weren't coming over it. Well, let's hopefully we can go around it. Boys, I don't know where this is leading to. Oh, so it doesn't go to where we need then. Oops. No, it doesn't go anywhere. Oh. Oh well. Oh, I just need to drink. There's no, no, no. No, there's a dead end. Nothing here. It's dead. Is there the end of a tunnel? What? Where the water starts to flow towards you. Yeah. That, that's about that. that's the thing. Right, okay. No, I don't, I don't know where the eye of the earth is, but I'm just hoping it wasn't there. The Andrew doing spirit box, I think. Oh, it's like, it's spirit box. I think so. Yeah. I think it's like running water. That's strange. Strange markings on the wall. What is that noise? You hear that? Is that bats or something? That noise? Yeah. That's coral vaping. Oh, is it? Oh, coral. Hey, Olivia, you coming? I'm going to take him to a waterfall. What I would suggest we do first is uh, get that person down from up there because uh, leave a comment below, guys. Do you think that's dangerous or not? <laughs> uh, well, it's not for its collapse, so I can't bother. Well, uh, what I will say is. If that collapses, we're all dead. So maybe you should get down from there. Yeah. Yeah, I know, bro. We're not used to this kind of stuff, are we? What the, mate? No. <laughs> I feel like King Kong coming down. We've got searchlights. <laughs> yeah, but. Like King John coming down. <laughs> didn't, didn't King Kong die coming down? Didn't he die coming down? Yeah, well, I'm, yeah, listen, mate. I don't go out the same way. This is a different written story. Carl, do you think it's a good idea climbing these? Uh, yeah, of course it is. You know, it's yeah. safe. It's, yeah. it's adventurous. And so it's why why are you still on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna climb it. <laughs> I ain't doing that. I think I think I think the safe and reasonable point? answer is no. No, no, no. 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 You, you can't 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 catch well, me climbing fine. this this structure, this underground structure. Oh, it must be mad. Get out of here! By the way, we have no idea this person has found living here. I think he's been living here for a number of years, so just bear oh. that in mind, everyone. Oh. Yo, what was that rumble? Yeah, it's thing up oh. just on the block there. Oh, oh God. Yeah. <laughs> I just heard a rumble and I was looking for the exit sign. 
Oh, by the way, look at that. Olivia is repping the merch. She's got the Extinction hoodie on. If you want to own one of those hoodies, go to edbfofficial.com. Go and they've not left me back for a few days, dangle around outside and I just rub it. Think I'll wait. I'm sorry, I'm all good. You two are right, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big boy. Right. Um, Is that the problem? We can go, yeah, we can go right or left. Right, hold on. That way I don't, I don't, I think we'll carry on. I think we've been this way. No, we've not been this way at all. One sec. Oh no, look at all the light on the roof. Is that a dead end over there? I thought that was a sign up wall. No, it's not a dead end. I'll have all this way. What's this all about? Wait, how do we win free right, cheese? In Gloucester, there's this secret festival, right? That the police tell everybody it's not on, it's not on, it's been cancelled this year, and it's not, it's always done. And there's these people who go down a, a hill that's maybe about 50, 60 degrees down, and so you, can't, you can't walk it because you just, when you start moving, you fall forwards, rah, and people flip. They flip over and then they tuck their heads in and they go rolling like the After cheese. After the wheel of cheese. So they, they throw a, no way. They throw a cheese. They throw a cheese down the hill and then they expect the everyone else to roll down yeah. the hill. Bro, and they break never, bones and all it, sorts of I've stuff. I've never seen it. No. Yeah. Yeah. Massive wheels of That's cheese right and, and the cheese. Yeah, they yeah. do it. Yeah. That, yeah. Why, why are we not doing this? Because <laughs> we're in a cave. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't mean like, I don't mean this this second. I'm talking about in general. Why are we not doing this? I don't know. months. If we can win a big big piece of cheese. Maybe you get, if they I did a cup, gummy bear really. version for you, Dan, like a big roll of gummy bear, you know, like those, 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 those snakes you eat, yeah? No, get one of those, roll that down the hill. I prefer, down no, I prefer cheese. A cheese, there we are. 100%, we can melt it on anything. It's like one of those Edam yeah, cheeses. It's a big oh, ball of a big. Yeah, yeah, I know which ones you mean. And they just roll I those down the hill. Nicely matured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to look into that, Matthew. It's, it's a brilliant day out, mate. You've never seen anything. You've never seen people injure themselves like that. It's like Steve-O on speed. Okay, we're going. Going. So We're cool. going. We're going, Carl. It's settled. Game, Steve, -o. Steve -o on speed chasing cheese. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one who hasn't heard of this um, cheese rolling craziness festival? Lovely. Leave me a comment below if you do. Because I don't have a clue. <laughs> it's in Gloucester. Yeah. They, they always tell people it's cancelled. Well, no wonder because people are flipping down, breaking the next for a piece of cheese. The amount of people that break bones there is a Well, no, no, no wonder the police tell them it's not on then. Yeah, by the way, you know, when we're on these underground missions, like I just heard Carl saying, you expect guys to be talking about what lies ahead, the dangers in here. But no, you've got us lot talking about big rolls of cheese falling down a hill and chasing it. It's a piece, it's not, of, uh, piece of our mind, I guess. Sounds like my dream right there, bro. Honestly, it does sound like mine, but right now I'm cutting weight, so I can't have cheese, but when I am cutting weight, you'll find me down that hill very fast. Anything? We've been this way. Yeah, it's a, it's a dead end here. It's not the eye of the earth. If it's on the ceiling, I see nothing. All right, well, this isn't the lagoon either. So it may have been the caved in bit. Or well, the other bit that we just, we've been down there, didn't go down. Don't know. Right, so at this point, this is our last hope to find it, I guess. Turn the brightness upon this a little bit. Oh wait, oh I see. What the hell is this? Okay. Okay, this is interesting. Is this what you're talking about here? Yeah boy, be careful Dan. It doesn't look too bad at all. Yeah, it's fine, you've got to not touch the roof. To the bottom? But does it go on? Right. Oh, you're not doing any justice. You're doing it no justice. Come here. You're not, you're not at all, mate. Look at that. 
Yeah, I see it. I see if it. You don't. Honestly, you don't. I tucked that on my finger, and that's pulling the whole roof in. It's tucked into the wall there. There, crack there. That's because you don't tuck the roof. Just don't touch the roof. Just if you're coming through, you don't touch it. Just be careful. He's not. He got to. He didn't get to the dead end. He didn't get to right at the end. Must be the way, man. That's probably the way. It's the next chamber. Yeah, I'm thinking. They make little things like that. Some of them are the next chamber. I've got like three pairs of socks in me. Cheers, man. Alright, so Sam is going to go and check it out for the team. He's going to go and see if uh, what lies below. I don't think it's that, that deep, is it? Yeah, it's well packed. It's booth like you can, I'll put rocks as I'm going. Do you know what I mean? For people to step on, but it's just the initial first bit. Wait, it's... wait, hold on a second. You're going in Crocs? <laughs> I mean, these Crocs have seen more continents than most of my friends. Who is this hobbit? Now, how many adventures have you Crocs been on? You act surprised. C Crocs or? Charles has been here before. That's the one who wrote them out. Do you know what I mean Crocs? <laughs> Right, leave me a comment below. Uh, please agree with me. Do you think Crocs are weird to wear in a mine? He's got far too many Duracells. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a bit hyperactive, isn't he? He's got he's got a lot of Duracells, that boy. Yeah. Or Energizer, depending on which continent you're in. Yeah. So right now we're just kind of all stood around waiting, wondering is there anywhere else we can go? These two have been in here for about 10 minutes now. Must have gone quite a way. So if they're gone, go like an hour. I'm going. If they're if they're any if they're longer than five minutes, I'm probably going to go in after them. Really? Yeah, I'm going to check it out. Right, so right now we are walking through, trying to find another entrance, another way to the uh, eye of the earth. We're not giving up yet. I want to make this clear. Right now, what what we're stood on is the ceiling. Legit, the entire ceiling. To go off. Wow, feels weird. It feels so strange. Be careful. Oh, Charles, be careful with the rumbling. Seriously. Look at the state of it. We're standing on. No, it's not. No. No, it's a dead end. Dead end. All right, next one. Next one. Dead end. Nope. Another dead end. Alright, so this is another way we haven't checked. But I just love these almost like craters in the ceiling. Look at that, it's amazing. This feels a lot colder over here. A lot colder. You've been down here? Yeah, that's where it is. Oh, some water. Okay, right. Keep going, we must. Wow, so this isn't the dragon's eye, I'm pretty sure, but 
look at the ceiling, it's absolutely amazing. It's like a perfect sphere. And the colours in it, the iron that's seeping through is amazing. Unless this was the, the eye of the dragon, but this is all here, it's collapsed. So it's turned it into like a non-3D look. But I'm going to get some photos from the bottom. Oh, this is it. I didn't even see it. This is, the, this is the eye of the earth. This is the dragon's eye. The whole of the giants. I finally made it. It's not a wasted trip. We haven't failed. Wow, what an amazing looking place. I'm gonna get some unbelievable shots. Head over to Instagram.com slash fighters. It's gonna be out of this world, literally. Oh, wow. I have been taking photos of this for some time. I'm actually on the floor now, I'm tired. But wow. What amazing photos we have just got of the dragon's eye. Yeah. The eye of the dragon. The whatever else you want to call it. The, the, the giant's eye. Look at that. Just look at it. It's just like nothing you'll ever see in your life again. This is one of those underground anomalies. It's just a one in a million. One in a million chance. If you want to see an amazing photo of this, definitely come over to my Instagram, Instagram.com slash fighters. Honestly, I'm so happy with this photo. And I bet these guys are too. They're happy I finished. <laughs> they're all still all complaining that they're hungry while I'm taking photos. I have to get the perfect one. I've been looking for this place for like five years. And it's literally ten minutes from my house. I'm not sure if it's if it's you got the weight, you got the weight of the world, the underground world on your, on your shoulders, guys. Hands up high. Yeah, no, nah, that was cool. Oh, so cool. It honestly reminds me of, one of them old-fashioned globes that you get, them uh, black and bronze globes. Oh, Matthew, you're right. Fucking got locked in a rock. Wow, I thought you'd snap your foot down. Oh, your shoes come off and everything. Yeah, my foot. Yeah, my foot. Is your foot okay? Yeah, my foot got twisted in a rock, and as I moved forward, it just locked it. I mean, you could have been in a worse place to get your foot trapped and die. You could yeah. just sit here looking at the eye of the earth on. Dragon's what? eye, why? I thought I did my shoelaces up, but clearly not. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just chilling out on the ground here, just looking up at this amazing image right now, just remembering why I started doing all this and the places that we've been to and the underground stuff we've seen. It's just for moments like this. I just gotta savour it. Just gotta see. <laughs> well, I'm starting to think them orange camels have lost their look. Well, that's true, but he fell over. By the way, guys, I took my uh, helmet off just to get my photo with my cap on. I don't want to get a photo with the helmet on. I don't think anyone else wants to either. <laughs> right, right now we are climbing up the Dragon Eye. Let me turn this brightness up. It's, it's that big in here, I can hardly flood it all, but... Yeah, we're climbing right up here. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Just watch your steps. Just watch your steps, boys. It's a crazy adventure. Proper Goonies adventure again. <laughs> I think that's uh, been swallowed up now. Bye bye. I have the dragon. We respect you fully. We have left you intact. Please do not punish us in otherworldly forms. Actually, that's a nice and angle as well. Isn't it? Yeah. Right, like I said, Dragon's Eye, Hall of Giants, the, the Eye of the Giant. Farewell, my friend. Well, we're going to start venturing up 
Now, uh, top side, um, I hope you really enjoyed this. I'm gonna speak to you when we get back to the car anyway, but yeah, this was a good adventure. Very good adventure. And I'll tell you what, it's one to take off the list. Definitely one to take off the list. Even this ceiling is beautiful, look at this. I know, I, th I saw this before. It's almost crater-like. It's like a fake one, isn't it? Because it's yeah. got the black in it, which sort of spoils it a bit, but it's, it's, it's like, like if you get close to this, you know you're in the right place. Yeah. What a shot, man. Probably one of the most unusual mines we've been in. Just the structures, how they're supporting it all. Very, very strange. I've loved this one. Yeah, it's been a fun one. Mm. It's been so different, isn't it? Yeah. It's not like, like most of the slate mines you go in are just messy and everything and everywhere, but this one's quite, it's weird. So, it just makes better when I get out. Tell you what, it's nowhere near as bad as them travel later ones on. that we did. Yeah. Ones? The ones with the big oh, belts. The whales? Yeah. Oh man, that was crazy. That was tiring. They were steep. <laughs> Dan. Yeah? Oh, literally fucking spiders everywhere, bro. Is there? <laughs> right, well, you better have, have to have a go for it. Where are the spiders? <laughs> it's alright. Right. I'll live down here. Well, you'll be alright. You're just gonna do it. I'm not bad now. You're not bad now? No, I'll go for it. Yeah, well, you just call me up. Come after Japan. Get this one off your curtain. Tell you what, after Japan. Oh, actually, yeah. Japan conditioned me. You're on the same though, Jess, aren't you? The ones in Japan chase you, so. The way I always put it. The ones you sandals. Nah. I'm chasing no more, bro. <laughs> the way I put it. Jap time. Japan spiders are like 28 days later zombies. UK spiders, spiders are like Shaun of the Dead zombies. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, alright, fair enough. No, I haven't made that yet. No, it's just a typical checkered kind of oh, underwear he wears. Blue and red, I bet he's got on. Next selection. The blue and burgundy. Alright, blue and burgundy, okay. <laughs> I wasn't going to go that specific on colours, but... <laughs> Personal question, Matthew. What's the strangest underwear you own? Um, well, my therm some of my thermals have actually got holes in them. And um, it's almost like as if it's designed for you to sort of take a crap through. So you can like sit down, you don't have to take okay. them off. There's just like a big, big split in the back of them. You know, I wish I'd never asked. But I have sewn them up recently, so they're yeah, not, not, quite, that, not quite so bad, yeah. I thought my Dragon Ball Z ones were weird. <laughs> That's awkward, man. I've got all of you. I'm already on my own. People are not going to see how long it takes us to get out, but tell them, but it's better to just show them. And there you go, Liz. There's that. Bag. You just, to, just pull it, bro. Just pull it. Is it? It's not. It's not. It's just. There you go. And uh, grab my camera as well, please. You're filming on the way out and hands straight to you. Recording as well, yeah? Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's recording, bro. Well, they made them, I'm going to go for it, okay? Spiders or not. It is a bit, isn't it? You ready? <laughs> Here we go. You want me to grab the camera too or not? Come on, Dan. Find out back here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go down. There you go. Right, go, go, go. Get out of here. Oh, we made it. We're out. Spider infested entrance. Not a problem. We dealt with it. You already know after Japan. I'm, I'm not that bad now in the UK. Whew. That's a cliff edge. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a drop on the other side. I didn't realize that's a drop in Richard. I'm walking over thinking it's a little steep hill. No, it's fine. Uh, not quite a full moon yet, but quite creepy out, quite foggy. I'll feel that scary, I have to just go now.